Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday the 9th of February and another winter storm knocking on the door. The entire northern half of the state under a winter storm warning. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the network. First off, uh, coming from uh, Fayette, and, and let me point out, these were taken around noon today. Had to uh, pluck these a little early due to some school programs. At that point, the sky was clear. Not a cloud in the sky, but boy, it's going to be a different picture uh, in coming hours there. Uh, we'll go to Hamilton up in northwest Alabama where the sky is overcast. And as I do this update, I'm recording the video here about uh, 2.30. Snow is falling now in Tupelo and West Point, Mississippi. So that snow could begin in Hamilton within the hour. And pretty much the same deal in Russellville. We're starting to see some echoes on radar in Franklin County. And again, uh, more than likely, that field out there is going to be snow covered uh, pretty shortly. Very dynamic system coming through. Uh, you know, in Arkansas, they have had almost two feet in spots where the original projections were for four to six inches. Goodness, talk about an upside surprise. And, of course, that obviously gets the attention of everybody downstream. There's a look at temperatures. Now, again, these were at noon today, uh, 36 up in the shoals. Of course, much colder back in the snow belt up and through there. And uh, with the sunshine we have seen today, some spots have hit the upper 40s. But, again, surface temperatures are just not that important when it comes to forecasting snow. We look at uh, really 5,000 feet. That's the key level. And uh, it is certainly cold enough for snow tonight. There's, there's no doubt about that. Often we wonder if it's going to be rain or snow. This will be snow for, for Birmingham and points north. Just uh, will be interesting to see how much comes down. Here's a look at all the watches and the warnings. Uh, winter storm warnings up all the way from Oklahoma, all of Arkansas, north Louisiana, northern half of Mississippi, west Tennessee, and again, a pretty good chunk of Alabama. And... Uh, we're not going to change anything at this point. You know, we, we've showed you everything we could show you uh, over the last five days. And uh, the, the main difference we've, we've changed on the graphic here is the fact that we've got the heavier totals back in there for northwest Alabama. We pulled them down for a while this morning because it looked like there might not be enough moisture. But again, uh, Memphis, they, they're clearly going to see five to seven. We've got three to five inches now for the northwest Alabama, the Shoals down to about Hamilton, uh, Tupelo. Uh, we still got one to three for most of uh, north central Alabama potential for a little heavier zone south of Birmingham and that's the one uncertain factor a lot, a lot of the models have brought up this really good uh, piece of energy that tries to bring a heavier band of precipitation along north of interstate 85 after midnight and uh, whether we get that or not we'll just have to wait and see but again for most people we still think this will be a one to two inch snow three inches on the high end and uh, again maybe a few snowflakes as far south as Grove Hill Greenville and Columbus, Georgia, Phoenix City, Alabama. So there you go. Just watch the blog for uh, running updates. We're kind of in the now-casting mode as opposed to the forecasting mode with this. Uh, point here mainly is to look ahead. So let's look at tomorrow, midday. It's gone. Down below that, uh, it's going to be a chilly day, of course, uh, in, with, with snow cover on the ground. Clearly, it's, it's going to be a chilly day. I don't know if we make 40. We might touch 40. But the, understand, the sun will be out most all day long, and uh, we should be above freezing probably by 9 or 10 o'clock. And uh, uh, with the sun, it'll melt a lot of this stuff off, uh, stuff off pretty quickly. Uh, Friday, we really start that nice warm-up. Uh, Friday, uh, we will see temperatures warming up into the low 50s. Or, I'm sorry, upper 40s. Then Saturday, we're talking low 50s. And Sunday, 60 is the possible high there. So that's going to feel great. Uh, so this cold snap coming in with the snow is not going to last long. It is a short duration event, and next week looks great. In fact, I'll tell you now, the guidance has 63. It's actually jumped up a couple of notches on Sunday. Uh, there's Monday, and all next week we're looking at low and mid-60s. be the warmest week so far in 2011. Dry uh, Tuesday, dry. Wednesday, dry. So uh, just wonderful, calm, mild weather for a pretty good chunk of next week. You see that little front, we might get some showers maybe Thursday, but it looks like a dying system hitting that ridge on the Atlantic coast. Into the forecast on the 25th, ridging here, trough in the west, cold air in the west. Uh, we're mild, breezy. And again, that looks almost stormy out there for the plains with a surface low uh, located uh, near Goodland, Kansas. So no evidence of any Arctic intrusion for the next two weeks after this shot we get for the next 36 hours. 
Hallelujah. <laughs> That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.